Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Like I said a little earlier, 89 on Sunday, Monday, and yesterday. Today, the highest observation I saw at Harrisburg International Airport was 91 degrees. It'll be the first time we've hit 90 in two weeks. Right there, looking live right now over Gettysburg. A little cloudy over Adams County. There are some thunderstorms around, not right in downtown Gettysburg at this hour. 72 degrees. Yeah, some cooler air coming in off some of those thunderstorms, lowering the temperature there. Dew point down to 61, too. Uh, but south southwesterly breeze is starting to pick up. But there are some storms around and could still be a few. Hazy, warm, a stray shower or storm around, especially western sections early this evening. But they're going to die off uh, and pretty quickly, too. We'll drop out of the 80s into the 70s. Pretty much the same as we've had the last few nights. Muggy night. We'll drop down near 70. There'll be some patchy fog, a little haze out there. Tomorrow morning, it'll burn off quickly. We'll have another hazy, hot, humid day. Another chance of an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow. This time, I'd probably favor it north of the turnpike. There's a cold front coming into northern Pennsylvania. It'll look like it's going to create a lot of rain. Little better chance on uh, Friday. Let's hope. Uh, tomorrow, again, near that 90 degree mark, but I do think we trim it some as we head on into the weekend. Pollen count will be up to, a, again, a moderate level. We're in that ragweed season out there. Some folks are suffering. Low on the mole spores, moderate air quality from our primarily the ozone. And again, that's because of the, the heat of the day. A seven on the UV index, again, a little more haze and a little more humidity. Here's a cool front. You can kind of see connected dots as you go across the Great Lakes back toward Green Bay, some showers. But that's not what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with this area of thunderstorms. If you recall, on Monday I was showing it to you over Indiana. This batch was over Ohio yesterday. It's kind of shifted, but look where it's going. It's heading to the south and east. And I think maybe Mifflin and Juniata counties could see some of these storms come out of uh, the mountains, but most of us will miss them, especially uh, on the east side of the river. But here's the, the storms now all moving south of Route 30. We can see some heavier stuff came through Chambersburg down toward Waynesboro and South Mountain. But the heaviest activity in this batch is now moving south of the Mason-Dixon line and moving away. Parts of Adams County, again, you could have a, a shower or a sprinkle. But look, most of the viewing area is seeing 90-degree weather. Underneath those clouds and the rain, it cooled it down a little bit, but everybody else near that 90 degree mark. And that's what the predictor shows through the evening hours. Those storms die out, maybe one or two again west of the river early this evening. Then overnight tonight, just some haze and maybe a little patchy fog. We're near 70. That sets the stage for another hazy, hot, humid day tomorrow. Again, western and maybe northern sections could see that isolated thunderstorm. And don't hold your breath. Yeah, I think the lawns are going to stay a little crunchy. So we do have a better chance on Friday. And a cool front could trim temperatures. Still kind of warm and humid. Looks like the humidity comes down a little bit. I, I think it's a nice weekend. I really do. I think Sunday, Monday looking pretty good. It gets a little stickier for Labor Day. And then maybe uh, get back into that warm, humid stuff heading into Wednesday uh, or Tuesday and Wednesday. Could be some thunderstorms. Late Wednesday, more likely, though, as we head on into Thursday. And that could bring some cooling. We certainly need that rain. This kids' art tonight is titled Summer's Last Watermelon. You guys like that? What do you think? Isn't that pretty unique? That was from Bethany Natter from Millerstown. Thank you, Bethany. And our Weather Watcher umbrella winner on this Wednesday evening is Lori Lisa. See, my producer thought I was going to say Lisa Lori, but I got it right this time. From York. Congratulations to Lori. Let's see how the rest